this last function. Use the table to find any integer roots. So I'm going to type that one in, 6x cubed minus 6. So there's a graph. Some people really like to use the graph. Um, but you can also use your table to find the integer roots. So 1, 0 is an integer root. If you're looking at the graph, notice it looks like it crosses at 1. Maybe it crosses at 2, but it's looking like it crosses in between. So 1, 0. And you also know that 0, 3... negative 1, 20, negative 20, and so it's crossing from positive to 0 to negative again. Um, so, let's find all our roots using synthetic division. So if 1 is a root, I'm going to use our 6, negative 13, and 4, and 3. So drop down the 6. 6 times 1 is 6. We add negative 7. I multiply. I get negative 7. 4 minus 7 is negative 3. And I multiply. Negative 3. And I get 0. So, use synthetic division to find all of the roots. How do I... How do I multiply this? Uh, sorry, this is 6x squared minus 7x minus 3. And so I set the rest of this equal to 0, and I solve it. So 7 plus or minus the square root. 7 squared minus 4 times 6 times negative 3. Quadratic formula. If you're able to factor it, factor it. But, oh, actually let's do that. Now that I think of it, what multiplies to negative 18 and adds to 7? Negative, negative 9 and 2. So 6x squared minus 9x plus 7, sorry, 2x. Kind of looks like a z. Who cares, right? So factor out a 3 and an x. That leaves a 2x minus 3, and we already have a 2x minus 3. And again, you don't have to factor out this long way. This is the AC method as we've done it. 2x minus 3 leaves a 3x plus 1. And so you get 0. So either 2x minus 3 equals 0, and 2x equals 3, so x equals 3 over 2. Or, um, 3x plus 1 equals 0, so x equals negative 1 divided by 3. So it says use your graphing calculator to verify. One way I like to do this is go back to the graph and just hit the trace button. Type in 3 halves. So it changes it to 1.5, but 0. And you can type in negative 1 third and you get zero. This is just the same thing as if you didn't have a calculator and you took these values and you plugged them back into your original. But the calculator just makes the plug and chug a lot faster. So, write the function in factored form. Well, we divided using the one, so x minus one times our two x minus three times our three x plus one and we checked it. So, there you have it. Dividing using synthetic division to find maybe fractional roots or maybe even imaginary roots. Enjoy.